guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing the Ride or Die Makeup Challenge. If you guys don't know what it is, these are all of the products I would use if I ever got dessert and not an island, and this is the only stuff I could grab. Just this stuff. I have a lot of high-end makeup, and I have a lot of drugstore makeup, so it was very, very hard to choose. My heart hurts because I couldn't pick a few things, but let's do this. The first thing here that I have would be a primer, and it would be my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I have raved about this before, and it is just amazing. I have kind of oily to combo skin, and believe it or not, people, believe it or not, this stuff does not make me greasy. I stand behind my chair at the salon probably 10 to 12 hours a day. That's the truth. And with that being said, I'm behind the hair dryer. I'm, you know, obviously a lot of hot tools are going on in the, in the room. It just so happens that this stuff sets my makeup perfectly. I do believe that you guys can maybe run to Sephora and maybe get a sample of this if you're interested in trying it. This was a pretty penny. This was a pretty penny. However, I feel as if I'm on a desert island, I need this. I do. Moving on to foundation. Now, this was tricky because I am obsessed with another foundation. However, I've only been trying it for a few months. I wore it on my wedding day, so I guess I should kind of technically be putting it into this video. However, I was going through my drawer foundations. I just couldn't stop thinking about this one. So this one would be my L'Oreal Paris Magic Nude Liquid Powder. I do believe this is been discontinued, and I apologize for that. However, I just, I, I scooped up, I think, six bottles the last time I went to the drugstore to pick them up when I knew that they were, they were being discontinued. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, you guys will not be able to try this. However, the other one I was talking about, which has been in my last monthly faves, I think, um, I'll link that video down below. It is another very similar water-based foundation. It's just, I like a sheer foundation. I don't have a lot of scarring or imperfections besides like age spots and freckles and of course the hormonal breakouts. But other than that, I have nothing really to cover. So the more sheer coverage foundation, the better for me anyways. So I guess, sorry about that, but this is my ride or die. I would take all six of my bottles. I would. And moving forward to concealer. This goes hand in hand with the last, uh, with the last product I mentioned. And it's, you wanna know what, hold on, hold on. I can't not tell you guys, I'm sorry. So this would be my second foundation that is ride or die, like for sure, because the other one's kind of technically discontinued. I guess I can talk about this one, but this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This is in the, sh in the shade Light Sand. This is completely ride or die, I'm in love, and this follows up with it. This would be the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer. They're literally, I'm gonna be careful, Andrea. They are literally water-based, so they're very sheer. If I were to, hold on, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but it comes in the medicine dropper type of packaging, and it is completely water-based. You guys see that? I'm in love. It is a pretty penny, comparatively to drugstore anyways. In love, in love, in love. Go try this, guys. Go get a sample. This is, well, these are my babies. Oops. Look at that packaging. I mean... I love them. So to set everything, I dabble into a lot of my other powders, my setting powders I may have, but I think I have repurchased this no less than six, seven times now, so I feel like it's only fair to show you guys my setting powder, and that would be the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. As you can tell, I put pan. This is drugstore. I think it's like $3.99 at Ulta. It has no scent. I don't know why I smelled it. Um, but yes. Definitely ride or die setting powder. Oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Um, let's do bronzer. So this would be my favorite ride or die bronzer. This is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. It came with that little cute little brush. I have another one in stock I need to pull out. This is proof, people, that this is ride or die. She's sticking along. She is, she's gone a long way, but golly. I use this in the crease a lot when I'm kind of running out the door. I use my bronzer, I use this in my contour, I use it today. I love it. I do believe this is, you wanna know, I, I don't know, I wanna say it's $38. But this one, this is my second one. My first one crashed into little pieces, that's why this is the second one. So I think I've had this for like two years now. But the first one I had, I shattered it, it just, it, yeah. RIP, man, RIP, but this, 
This is amazing. Go get it. And as far as blush, this was a very, very, very hard one to choose because I like to change up my blushes. Sometimes I wear bronzers as blushes. It's, it's a thing. It just is. So when I was going through my blush drawer, yes, my blush drawer, um, I couldn't help but think of that time that Josh and I did the makeup challenge video and the way he pronounced it is stuck in my mind. So this would be my ride or die blush. This is by City Color B Mate blush. So this would be it. This is in the color Fresh Melon. I do believe I got this in an Ipsy. And I'm so thankful I got this in the Ipsy. A little bit goes a long way. It is super, super pigmented. You, yes, mm-hmm. Can't go wrong. That is so pink. So pink. I love it. Ride or die. Mm -hmm. Let's see with powders, the highlights. Now, I have loved so many highlights. In fact, I have, well, I should show you guys my makeup collection one day. But until then, this would be my favorite. Oh, boy. That would have been bad. This is my favorite highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Everybody knows about this. I want to open this for you guys. Um, hold on. She's breaking. I should buy a new one. It's gorgeous. I do believe this is an all-time favorite of a lot of people. But there is that for you. It's so pretty. You really can't go wrong. This is a very neutral color. It's not too pink. It's not too gold. Well, I want to say it's similar to Champagne Pop. However, it isn't. Champagne Pop's a little bit more on the pinkier side comparatively to this. Favorite highlights. It would be great for all skin tones. Go check it out if you haven't. I think they sell the Balm Cosmetics at Kohl's. In fact, my local Kohl's sells a lot of cosmetics, Lorac, whatever, whatever, Pure Cosmetics. But I do know I have seen this there before. In fact, that's why I'll probably pick up my next one. But go check out Kohl's if you're in the market for a great highlighter. Let's do lips. I have three products when it comes to lips. I picked out my favorite liquid lipstick, and that would be the Rimmel London Provocalypse 16-hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. This right here, if I couldn't take anything else with me on a desert island, this would be it. I am obsessed with this. I think I have every single shade in this line, in the Provocalypse line, the 16 hour wear. My favorite. In fact, I get more compliments on this lip color than any other thing I've ever worn, any other thing I ever do, any other thing I do in my hair, makeup, whatever, this would be my number one. It's just so pretty. It's a good balance between a violet and orange base red. There is that for you. I'm in love. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. And the best thing about this is it does have a clear top coat, which a lot of times liquid lipsticks can become a little drying and they can settle into your lips. This little clear top coat prevents all of that. Now, be, now this is dirty because I've obviously worn it. Technically, it should be clear, but be, yeah, mm -hmm. don't judge. Don't judge. But this, all-time fave, go pick it up, $6.99, Ulta, Walgreens, CVS. You'll thank me later, although if you hate it, don't tell me because it'll crush my heart and dreams and hope, yeah. Next would be my favorite lip liner. Now, I have a lot of lip liner brands that I like. However, the one that I normally, generally go to, very comfortable in, ride or die, would actually be what I have on my lips. And that would be the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Lip Color Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob. Look at it. It's just so pretty. I wore this in my first and second wedding. Um, I will probably be filming my wedding makeup soon, so keep a lookout for that. However, this is kiss proof. Not there, people. Not there. It's amazing. I have repurchased this no less than four or five times now. I have a backup in my makeup collection. Yes. And next would be my favorite lip gloss. Now, I don't wear lip glosses as often, especially with my long hair. It's like, if you get it stuck, you know, into your lipstick, it's not cool. It just goes everywhere. It smears. Yes. But if I know that I need it for a night out or my hair is going to be pulled up or I just want to kind of put something on and run out the door, this would be the color and this would be the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. This, A, not only smells amazing, but this is my second one I've purchased. Have you guys ever gone through a lip gloss? Completely finished it off, gone through it. Not lost it, 
we'll go through it. This is my second one. That is unheard of. So I am going to swatch this for you guys. How pretty. It can kind of be on the peachier side. It's picking up more pink on camera. In love. It's sheer enough to, you, like I said, to throw it on and you walk out the door. But if you were to pair this with a lip liner, like the lip liner I talked about, it is stinking gorgeous gorgeous. Staying with the lip products, I wanted to talk about a lipstick slash lip cream. Um, I feel like the liquid lipstick should have its own little type of category, so I'm going to put this in mine, and this would be the lip cream, very similar to a lipstick, kind of similar to a liquid lipstick, however, it's not. It could be, but anywho, moving forward, this would be my favorite lip color. Besides the red, that red it is a complete part of me, part of my soul, part of who I am. I'm in love. Anywho, this would be the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Tokyo. I wore this on both my wedding days. You can't go wrong. Um, maybe I didn't on my second one. Definitely my first wedding day, long story short, if you guys don't know, go to my blog. The whole story is there. You can check it out. But this is the swatch for you. Oh, I'm running out. Is that possible? There is that. Yet again, I am a huge fan of the Pinky Nudes. In Love also smells really great. Oh my gosh. You guys can't go wrong with these things. I think they're like five, five, six dollars. I think I have seven or eight of these shades and all of them are named after cities, which is kind of cool, but this would happen to be my favorite. I have three more things. This would be all in the eye category. My next favorite would be, well I guess my next ride or die, it's not favorite, ride or die, would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Palmade in the shade Blonde. I have been using this for three years now. This is my second one. It's almost out. Love it. About to hit pan. Look at that. That's kind of gross. But yes, Ride or die, it's a great pomade, it does not come off, I'm sure if I went like this, which I'm not going to try on camera for you, it may come off, especially in the Florida heat. However, I said it with powders, it's a thing. I have another favorite, however, this is ride or die, right? I gotta stop saying that. This is ride or die. This is my ride or die. And my favorite liquid eyeliner would be, well, I have another. However, I feel like for the price, this is how I'm justifying it, people. For the price, it has to be a ride or die because I've repurchased this no less than three times already and the other one I've only repurchased once. So with that being said, this would be the Jordana Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. It's not as black as other ones that I've tried. However, if you go over it twice, which I know why would you go over it twice if you can go, you can go out and buy a blacker eyeliner, I get it, I get it. Um, this would be it though. This one is running out, so you just have to bear with me on this little swatchy poo because this does not do justice. I should be showing you a fresh one. I'm actually going to be running to the store later this evening to pick up this. I think it's like three, four dollars at your local drugstore. Look at that. Just to prove to you how awesome it is. And the last but definitely not least, ride or die makeup product would be my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Boom, people. This is the ish. If you have never tried this, you need to go out and get it. It is, it is love, people. This is real love. I think I have been using this for no less than six or seven years. I do dabble in other products and I've used other products. However, I always pick this up as my last coat. Always. That's what I'm wearing today. It's amazing. It is so black. And I think for what? I think it's $5.89. $5.89 at my local Target. I even give this out to my brides when I do my bridal makeup. It's just a staple. Here, have this. Yes. So, that is everything. I hope I didn't overwhelm you guys. This is kind of a long video. So, I hope you guys like this video. I really hope you guys learned something. At the end of the day, I always hope you guys learn something. So, moving forward, concluding out this whole video. I'm sorry I rambled. This was a very long video. If I were ever stuck on a desert island, I would A, need Josh, B, my puppies, and C, all this makeup. That sounds like a first world issue right there because I'm sure I probably need some other things. However, with Captain Safety, my puppies, yeah. Anywho, I hope you guys learned something as always. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I will catch you in my next video.
Bye, guys. Show me your guns. Double arm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> Keep singing. Hit the sunset, hit the sunset, I've got all I need. What are we doing today? I'm up, I'm ready to go. I got endorphins, I got it. workout still going through me. I need to wash my hair. I thought you washed it before.